I'm sorry to have to tell you, but there is another ridiculous rapture date set here on the internet. There are people that have been doing this for quite some time, and I have had to debunk them. Uh, 2013 was a year of debunking the nonsense that we're in the middle of the tribulation period right now. Obama is the Antichrist, and, and he defiled um, the, the birthplace of Jesus in, uh, on March 22nd of uh, uh, 2013. And that was the abomination of desolation. This nonsense still continues. I've done my part in trying to, to quelch that. And I have helped many of you who did fall for that. But you know what? A fool is born every minute. And there are still people that believe this garbage because people are still spreading it. The latest bunch of nonsense is that January 21st through the 24th is a rapture watch window. And I'm here to tell you that's absolute garbage. I don't even want to do this. You, do you know what? Being a watchman on the wall here in these end times is not always fun. It's not always easy. And there's not always pleasure in it. Matter of fact, I'm rather perturbed about this garbage. But you know what? It's my calling. Ezekiel 33, 6 through 9 says, But if the watchman sees the sword come, I can also liken that to wolves in sheep's clothing. And if I don't blow the trumpet and the people aren't warned and the sword comes and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. So you, son of man, I have set you as a watchman to the house of Israel. Or also we can, we can liken this to the church in the end days. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I tell the wicked, O wicked man, you shall surely die. And you don't speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but the blood I will require at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the wicked of his way to turn from it and he doesn't turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. I have been warning wicked people. And they have not turned. If you remember last year, there was a man by the name of Steve Fletcher. If you just simply Google, or, or I should say YouTube, Steve Fletcher rapture date or Bible lock, you'll come up with a bunch of videos here. And there's, there's more to it. Steve Fletcher is this guy who last year said that June 6, 2013 was going to be a Bible lock, meaning that God told him that that's when the rapture was going to be. And I spent countless hours making videos trying to help you people not fall for this garbage because what happened was this false, ridiculous, so-called ministry called P.P. Simmons decided to take Steve Fletcher on the air, believe it or not. They have a radio program. Therefore, broadcasting this garbage to hundreds of thousands of people. And that's why I thought it's going to be important for me to debunk this. And so I did. I even talked to Steve. I wrote him an open letter to Steve Fletcher. This is me. Eight months ago. There we are. It's got 96,000 views. Antichrist's plan revealed because he's trying to tell us that the Antichrist was revealed and it's Obama and the... the March 22nd of 2013 was the uh, abomination of desolation. So I said, abomination of desolation exposed. And, and what I basically do is I tell you, it's going to happen in the middle of the tribulation, which hasn't begun yet. And I proved it. The latest thing now, well, but before I bring you to the latest thing, some of you actually believe this stuff um, on, on, on certain rapture forums. This is, this is rapture in the air now. Uh, people can post pretty much whatever they want. Roddy's saying the rapture is this month. This is uh, this is December 24th, okay? And then it has, you know, a lot of people will talk about it. Well, who's Roddy? <clears throat> this guy on YouTube. He has basically said in a number of videos that the rapture was going to happen in December of 2013. I gave you the year the Lord did through me. Uh, all glory be to God. He gave you the month. And uh, I know the day. I know the day. I know the day. Yeah, okay. So he's been preaching. This is his channel here, uh, Roddy, up here. So many times he has said 
the Lord is coming now, Rapture 2013. Uh, and then uh, how many times, Rapture 23, he doesn't even take the videos down. Rapture, December 2013, it's all over the place, all over his website. You'd be smart, Rod, he'd just take this garbage down. God's calendar, Rapture 2013, now it's changing to 2014 because it was only two weeks ago, right? Which is inside of January. It didn't happen, Roddy, and he's still doing this. Why does he even put this here? He just made this last week. Uh, Rapture 2014 now, he's changed his mind, okay? But he's telling, he's telling us in his videos that uh, God told him. All right, um, this kind of stuff, it gets spread around. This is Five Doves. This is another one, one of these websites, uh, which is a, a forum. Unfortunately, they don't screen rapture date setters, and they let all this stuff happen. Um, th this was one that happened. Um, th they were supposed to be a... Um, I will share uh, share a few of the main pieces of the puzzle to help you understand how they fit together to point the time between December 26th and January 4th as the time to expect our great deliverer. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? I believe that January 3rd through the 4th of 2014 is the most likely time to expect the rapture. Okay, and then you go to the video and, uh, oh, the video's been taken down. <laughs> oh, too bad. One of the worst people <clears throat> that uh, some of you fools are uh, subscribed to and, and listen to, and I, I, I see you guys, uh, I've seen you in her comments section giving her praise, and, you, and I've also seen you under my comments section spreading the nonsense. And I just, uh, when I see it, I basically just ban you from the channel because I, I don't need to put up with it. This is all this same nonsense. Here's the deal. The scriptures point to January 21st through the 24th as the rapture, right? The rapture of the church. Uh, the abomination that causes desolation took, took place on March 22nd, uh, 2013. For those left behind, January 21st through the 24th, rapture. Okay, this person, if we go to the about section here, it says, when is the rapture? In my videos, I look to the end time uh, prophecies of the Bible and see how they point to January 21 through 24 of 2014 as the time of the first fruits to rapture of the bride of Christ. After this event, three years of darkness will come on the earth, also known as the Great Tribulation. At the end of the three years, it's, th it's three and a half, number one, and, and your time is wrong, Renee. Let me show you something here. Um, Renee is wrong. She, she's, uh, she's been doing this since 2012, and I blocked her from my, my channel back then. Here, if we look at this, you remember what I just read to you? That has actually changed because uh, here, here it is, okay? I look at the end time prophecies of the Bible and see how they point to December 26th, 2013 to January 4th as the time of the first fruits rapture of the bride. After this event, three years of darkness will come to the earth, also known as the Great Tribulation, blah, blah, blah. So what she did, let's just look at it. She changed it. Now it's January 24th, or 21 through 24th. Before it was December 26th to, to January 4th. She has got probably over five different rapture date settings under her belt. And n look how many knuckleheads subscribe to her. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this to show you that there are wolves in sheep's clothing out there, and it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. This is a video that I made <clears throat> back in, what, May of uh, 2013. Rapture date set, June 6th. It's a Bible lock. This is Steve, Steve Fletcher's uh, failed rapture date. People are doing this all the time. Now, the reason why I need to make this video is simply just because Ezekiel, it's told us to us in Ezekiel, that if we are watchmen on the wall, and if we know about something, see, it's one thing if I was oblivious to this, and I'm sure there's plenty of other rapture dates going on on the internet that I'm oblivious to. Well, if I'm oblivious to it, then I'm not responsible for warning you. But if it comes across my path, and these things do, then all of a sudden I become responsible for warning you. And that's why it's annoying. Because I'm responsible. And it's like, if, if, it, if it gets on my, in my eyes, then it's like, oh man, now I have to because I'm required to. Now, I want to bring you over here to the prophetic scroll. This is, this is Joel Joseph. He is an um, absolutely amazing uh, writer. 
He is in uh, South Africa, and he is just an absolute blessing. I've been reading the prophetic scroll for years, and he has a knack for insight like nobody that I know. He's an amazing watchman, and he's got almost 200 editions of this. If you like to, to read, this is the edition that just came out a couple of days ago, False Ministers, Teachers, Doctrines, and Prophets. This is why I'm putting these two together, because Joel has written this edition recently, and also it, it, this correlates with this nonsense. Now, he's not bringing up anything about this ridiculous internet theory about uh, uh, January 21st through 24th being the rapture. It's not going to happen. Um, but it just sort of correlates, so I decided that I would do this. Uh, and I want to read a little, little bit of this to you, and I highly recommend that you uh, bookmark the propheticscroll.org and sign up for his, he'll email you and tell you when he has a new edition up. Um, it's, he's been an absolute blessing. I consider him a friend and an elder, and um, he has taught me very much. Introduction. In this edition, I would like to deal with how to identify false ministries in all their forms. This is a very fast-growing problem in these days. We need to know how to identify what is of God and what is not, and what to do about it. <clears throat> Whenever God is on the move in a new or special way, you can be sure that Satan will be there to distract, counterfeit, and bring in pure error. Uh, he goes on to say, false ministries produce false hope. And that's what's going on with these people who keep setting rapture dates, and then they change it every time. I should, I should, you know, I should back up over here and, and remind you that this Roddy guy is changing his mind. First it was 2013, and it doesn't happen. Now he's going to 2014. Same thing's going on with that Renee, Renee Moses character. It was, where do they go? Uh, it, it was, uh, she, she, she changes the titles of her videos, actually, okay? And, and then she takes down the old ones that, that don't, that, you know, it didn't come to pass. And then she gets mad at anybody that, that tries to uh, tell her that she was wrong. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. But they, these people, they're, they're insane, and they change their mind. They, just can't, they can't just repent of, of their sin, get off the Internet, and realize that they are... are producing false hope, clouded vision, and, and a wrong course for your life. Ultimately, if not checked, false doctrine, error, and deception will land you in hell. It is never a static thing. It always grows. You know, I got to thank you, Joel, for, for, for laying it on straight. And I appreciate that. People don't do that enough. And lay it on straight. And you do that. Um, I'm just going to go straight down... There, there are, there's so much in here that's just powerful, powerful stuff. Joel has thought through this very, very well. I'm just going to go right down to <clears throat> our little niche here, the social media. With the advent of social media, which I include YouTube, Facebook, and the like, irresponsibility with no accountability has flourished. These places have become a cesspool and a breeding ground for all manner of evil, outrageous error and deception. Yes, a breeding ground for wolves and wolf criers. The problem with the wolf criers, apart from the deception, is that they forever discredit themselves. Oh yes, and of course, wolf criers really do speak from the wolf inside of them. Nobody minds a person making an innocent mistake or two. The point is that so many of the wolf criers are always the same people and always the gullible ones. But don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because the internet has also streamlined and facil facilitated the work of God in so many wonderful ways. False prophets and true prophets ride these airways side by side. What is needed is discernment. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, those of you who watch my videos, have discernment. I get so many questions that are so ridiculous from you guys because you don't have discernment. Um, Satan uses his false prophets and teachers to spread his deception far and wide. He always uses the same gullible people to reach other gullible people. Gullibility is the tendency to be duped, deceived, and defrauded repeatedly. These are people who, look, who subscribe to these two channels that I just showed you. And P.P. Simmons, and Mike Shoesmith, and Steve Fletcher. You actually follow these people. 
You are willing to be duped and deceived and defrauded repeatedly. Gullibility is often linked to deep ignorance, but there is a character trait of susceptibility which leads these people. They are mostly unaware that they are perpetual victims. After being confronted on their deception, they are too weak in character to admit it. So they uh, then have to use manipulation, intimidation, domination to keep themselves elevated above others. They claim authority and insult any who won't be drawn into their web, web of deceit. It's always the same ones who promote and fall for the frauds. The gullible in nature are simply drawn to it. It is like an invisible magnet drawing them into the false, the frauds and all error. They think that they are right and everyone else is wrong. They think that they are true or they think that they are in the truth while they are actually in so much pride, which is why they are blind to the truth. May I remind you that interview with Mike Shoesmith of P.P. Simmons talking about those who believe in a pre-trib rapture. Pride. The pre-tribbers are some of the ugliest Christians out there. There's never any question when there's a pre-tribber nearby, right? They are loud, making a whole lot of noise, quacking about this and quacking about that, and quack, 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 quack. I mean, that's what they do, right? They're some of the worst, worst, the lowest class Christians out there, honestly. I mean, you guys are an embarrassment to the church. Why can't you just shut up? We are above all of that. And we were going to continue to rise above all of that. Unfortunately, these spiritually gullible people very seldom come right. Their pride keeps them in blindness and they bounce from one deception to the next, drawn by invisible demon forces which they think are the spirit of God. Defending their idols of deception and error actually means that they, as believers, are defending the devil. I will let you read the rest of this. Go to the propheticscroll.org, sign up for his newsletter, and read. Joel is an amazing man of God. I have the utmost respect for him, and I can't wait to meet him. And I thank you, Joel, for years of wonderful teaching. I also thank you, Joel for your respect. Joel has this small area here called the Watchman, and there is a very small group of people that he respects. He says, these Watchmen are a treasure in these days. They are not blind wolf criers like so many, and we may not agree on every little detail, but these men of God have an important message. And I am honored to be right here. Thank you so much, Joel. We got to keep it real. We got to keep it straight. It's okay to have righteous anger towards those who are crying wolf and deceiving people and giving people false hope so that they can't see clearly and just wait patiently for the rapture of the church at the appointed time. And instead of believing these false teachers who preach a new rapture date twice a month, to just be patient, keep your eyes on the cross, Keep your eyes on your Messiah, on your Savior. Keep your eyes in the Word yourself and realize that nobody knows the exact date. But it will most likely happen at an appointed time, as things do. Not random dates within the year. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate your thumbs up if you care to do that. I appreciate you sharing this video. This and, and, and even in a week, when this rapture date passes, the message is still valid because this will continue. This will continue and continue and continue and continue until Satan is cast into the lake of fire. Godspeed. Shalom, friends.